My next stop is Letchworth State Park. This is the Grand Canyon of the East. Hey, this is Matt Spies. Thank you for tuning in to Graceful Insight, where I hope you gain a deeper understanding for the reason you're here. ton but uh, I did sleep um, uh, six hours probably so I was pretty muggy it was got pretty muggy last night so I ran the air conditioner um, the car automatically shut off after two hours and I only lost five miles of range so that was kind of cool um, and I slept pretty well after that kind of slept down here all night he got a little restless a couple times but too bad. And then I got my uh, windshield screen up there, and then the side screens. So that worked out pretty well. I feel like I got enough uh, privacy and plenty of room to stretch out. I parked the back end um, away from, you know, there's like nothing over there, so no one can really see from the back side. So yeah, it felt pretty good. The mattress pad is super comfy, so I'm glad that turned out well. I had plenty of space to stretch out, but uh, yeah, it's just a little muggy and a little restless. Um, hopefully, I'll just get kind of used to that. So, all right, off to the next stop. Well, breakfast first. So, here I am on my way to Letchworth State Park. I was a little nervous because it was pretty rainy, um, it got rainy. Um, and it did rain while I was there, and that was a little bit miserable, but uh, it um, cleared up, and it got super sunny and actually pr pretty hot, and so um, it turned out to be a beautiful day, and I was pretty thankful for that. Um, the, the road there was pretty awesome. Um, the, the time lapse doesn't quite catch how awesome some of the scenes uh, were, because I was going super fast. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool travel, uh, to get there. Lots of hills, lots of inclines, uh, declines. Um, if it was sunny, it would have been even nicer, I think. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Pretty hilly part of New York. Um, I don't really get to experience that because I grew up in Indiana and I live in Michigan. So we have cornfields and it's very flat. Uh, so I welcome, welcome the hills. Except for when you're running. Running on hills is not as fun. So here I am entering the state park. It took me a little bit to figure out where to go, as you can see there. Um, but I figured it out. I had to back up a little bit, but figured it out. <laughs> And uh, I found a spot to stop and start hiking. So here is the Upper Falls, like right away, as soon as you get uh, to the uh, Upper Upper Falls uh, Trail. Uh, I took Trail 1. Trail 1 takes you uh, past all three falls. And there is um, the Upper Falls still. There's Kona posing. <laughs> so the upper falls is about 70 feet. The middle falls here is a little over 100 feet. It's 107 feet. Um, pretty, pretty big waterfall there. Um, it's pretty dang amazing. The, the park was ranked number one state park in the United States by USA Today in 2015. And then the number one attraction to uh, in New York um, in 2017 by USA Today. And I believe it. It, it is magnificent. The scenery and the just power and... Um, glory of mother nature and god's creation is just it is phenomenal um i loved it i absolutely loved it being here it was 
was very peaceful. There were quite a few people, but you could um, kind of, I don't know, there's a little areas where you can just kind of stand and or sit and just kind of be by yourself. And it was just really, really, really peaceful. Uh, this trail got me down to the actual Genesee River, and so this is trail five. So it was super calm down at this end. Uh, this is about, I don't know, five or six miles from where I started. I ended up going um, 12 miles this day. And Kona's getting a bath. I'm jealous because I haven't had one of those in a while. And I'm really looking forward to a shower. <laughs> so that was like a really washed away like bank. And that tree is just like hanging on. It's so crazy how sweet and strong the root structure is in some of these trees. That's weird. Oh wait, nope. It's not weird. Never mind. Not weird. Not weird at all. My bad. Perfectly normal. This section is slippery when wet. Ask me how I know. So as you go back, you kind of see, um, I don't know, like I didn't even see this on the way down the trail. So that was really cool coming back on trail one. Um, I thought a down and back was going to be kind of boring, but yeah, you don't uh, quite catch everything unless you happen to turn around. Um, and the sun was out this time, and so the pictures were, are even more clear. clouds man it is so so beautiful The park was super dog friendly. I could not believe how friendly uh, it was toward dogs. Um, I could take Kona everywhere, and um, it was yeah, it was just awesome. Uh, the weird thing is there are no trash cans. It's a bring your trash in, take your trash out type park. But thankfully, um, a lot, everyone seemed to be really uh, mindful of that, and I did not see hardly any litter. So that was really, really cool and uh, responsible for everyone, you know, coming in, coming and going. This is the Great Bend, and I mean, this is, this is just breathtaking up here. I've been to the Grand Canyon, and really, um, this is like the second best thing to the Grand Canyon. It really is comparable. Uh, the Grand Canyon um, is bigger, obviously, but it is, this is really, really, really pretty. And, um, I don't know, it gives the East Coasters something to look at too. And so my next stop is High Point State Park in New Jersey. See you there.